What's up, Warriors of Jagoku? We are playing my favorite Dynasty Warriors game, Dynasty Warriors 4, and we are continuing with Evolution of the Warrior with the boy, the cover boy, Zhao Yun. Um, so I, I made sure I checked. It's at least a level 9, which is good. Uh, I didn't really mean to show that. And also, I did, I forgot I made actually put my characters in here as well for uh, like bodyguard systems and everything. So we're going to be doing these just so they don't get the huge limelight and like jack all my kills and stuff. So we'll be working with them while we do this. So we're playing a Sishui Gate. Why? I don't know, really. I just kind of wanted to pick Sishui Gate for some reason. I didn't want to pick anything that would make us a very obnoxious stage or anything like that. Because there are some obnoxious levels in this game, but... Uh, trying to get this man off the horse! So, yeah, there's definitely... Uh, I mentioned in Dynasty Warriors 3 that maybe they fixed the thing where you like are stuck in one place. Nope, they did not fix that in this game. As soon as you hit someone, you have to like stay in that person's direction. Even if you, like I think, veer them off. Well, maybe not. I guess you just stay locked on to them, which is which is good. Kind of wish I could change direction, though, while I'm in the midst of fighting, but it's fine. I still adore this game so much. I This is the one Dynasty Warriors I spent so much time in, aside from uh, Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires. Ow. So, we're just going to be doing this, just showcasing off what Zhao Yun kind of plays like in this game hang on and this is the one for some reason just the look of this game like graphics wise and everything I mean I know it's on PlayStation 2 so it doesn't look tremendous and we're also widescreening a uh ow widescreening a uh PS2 game which also doesn't really help out that much but uh graphics wise when you just play regularly it actually is one of my most favorite looking Dynasty Warriors I don't know why it just looks really good to me. Let's take out you. I don't want... Okay, I'll just lock onto that guy instead. Okay, I'll continue to lock onto that guy. There we go. Alright, so that should be everyone in our area. So let's go take the supply depot now for uh, Sun Jian before he ends up dying or something. So he doesn't... Because he's a lack of supplies. Doesn't matter about my horse because I need to do this. Actually, isn't there something in here? Never mind, I was wrong. Curses. Okay. I'll leave the Jigoku girls over there. Yeah, so his morale's gonna keep dropping until I get supplies for him. Because of damn, uh, Yuan Shu. Hello, Fun Chao. I'm here to take the supplies. Yes, yes, yes. That's not fair, Chao. Wink Fang, where'd you come from? There we go. Supplies! Also, I had to cut off the music, so I'll put something else in. But it's very weirdly glitchy with the music in this game, at least probably since I'm playing on like a very old PlayStation 2. And uh, the, the disc itself is a little, it's not, it's not in perfect condition as well, so. Seriously though, if they made a remaster for this game, I would be all on that. I guess we'll go over here and help out South South in the meantime. Oh no, they're charging. They are charging. Now you've been over here. Shut up. You're not over here either. Shut up. Let's take out this guy. All right. One thing that is... Oh, Jesus. What the hell? Oh, Lisu. Hit. Good miss. Where was I looking? Hip. So in my opinion, this probably had like the best um, <clears throat> story mode to me. 
because even though I do like it where you can have like different characters uh, with their own story modes, I still think that's a really cool feature. Because I know they did it in 3, they did it in 5, and then they uh, did it with the other games as well until 7 and 8. And then they brought it back in 9. I personally do really enjoy it. However, for some reason, this story mode as well, I just really also did enjoy. Maybe it's because like if you did like the battles before the last one, it would like affect that battle and actually make it either easier for you or you would just make it harder if you didn't do those battles. Like I liked how that stuff carried on over to like the main battle. I know that still technically does in like Dynasty Warriors 9 and everything. But I don't know, just the way it was in this game, it was really good to me. Like I can't help but talk up this game because this game, I, like I said, I spent so much time playing this game. This game was my childhood pretty much. After I got Samurai Warriors and then Dynasty Warriors 3 and then got 4, I was just hooked. This game hooked me so, so much. And I love it. I love this game to death. It's such a pretty game. For a PS2 game as well. It's pretty pretty. Okay, well, like I'm talking it up and then it starts doing that. Drop the frames on me. Uh, okay. Good fight. I know Hua Xiong's going to be over here, and he's pretty buffed. Oh, hang on. Let's see if we can just do this. It's the power of Hua Xiong dropping my... Who the hell are you? I was cute to think you could hit me from behind, but not today, friend. Don't worry, Master Liu Bei. I got you. Oh, you guys want to get up? I think everyone just poured out of here. Good lord. Oh, there's a... Uh, Alright. Like I said, there's one annoying thing about these people on the horses. They just... Like, they can cut you off from the person you're attacking. It's actually pretty irritating. They'll just ride around with, like, no care in the world. As they're doing now. Ooh, now we got Zheng Liao. Oh, he's going north. Alright, alright, guys, please. Good lord. I'm right, gonna go take out. Good miss. Yeah? Ow. Ow. Motherfucker! Hep, 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 hep. Yeah, so that kind of makes Zhao Yun's last charge attack really pointless. Oh, that's right, I had the true Muso. So nothing ended up really changing for that. Oh, wow. Okay, Zheng Liao's really close to uh, Yuan Shao. I should probably go stop him first. Nope, not today. I'll be back. Oh, oh okay, there we go. Had to squeeze on through. And the horse is up there, too. Let's go stop this dastardly man. Damn, he really made a beeline for Yuan Shao. Good lord. That man really did... Really? Already? Damn, Zheng Lan must be like a beast. He's like, he's already struggling? Good lord. Like, come on, Yuan Xiao. Put in some work, dude. Ooh, here we go. We'll do a duel with Zheng Liao. Oh, he's buffed. This is actually kind of scary. Oh, okay. Well, I'll do mine, too. You motherfucker! Oh, where's that Muso now? Where's the Muso? I don't see a Muso for you. That's a shame. But Nini? Oh, he was doing his Muso. Motherfucker! Dang. Oh my god, look at this man spamming. Amazing, amazing. I'll get him when he's attacking! Like this. Also another really cool feature, the dual mode. I miss that thing so much. They kind of brought it back in 6, but then they were just like, ah, oh, we're kind of done with it now. 
In six, they actually did it in a much in a much more realistic way, I guess you could say. Um, in Dynasty Warrior Six, they had it so where everyone just circled around you, and you just ended up just fighting like them, and they get buffed up during the duel. But I think you get more reward out of it, which is pretty cool. That or they just give you an extra challenge, which is also pretty dope. And those guys, when they're when you're in a duel with an officer, it could be like a generic guy or anyone, they get buffed and they actually do pretty good damage to you. It's actually really cool. I like it. All right, now that that's done, oh look at the girls, they finally made it. Let's head back over and uh, take out Hua Xiong, and then we'll take out Li Jue. So I think he's the only one. That or he's gonna retreat like a bitch. Unless he only does it in the story, but I think that he I think he retreats here as well in the free mode version. So let's see what we can do. Oh, who's this? Good fight. <laughs> Wait, is Wish Young dead? Did they kill him already? Oh, they did. Alright. Or unless I did and I just didn't realize. It doesn't matter because I uh, need to do like something special to get his fucking uh, level four weapon. I think it is. Why was that man wearing silver? Ooh, this man's got a lot of health. Wait, where is he? Oh, there he is. Hiya, hiya. Oh wait, that wasn't him. Rip. Alright, Gong Soon Zon, please. Okay, good. I hate I hate when my allies are on their horns. I've I mentioned it already why. It's freaking annoying. Hiya! 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 The juggle game is strong with me. Alright, not when someone pushes him out of the way though. Alright, he's dead. Let's see him drop. Let's see the man drop. He did. Alright guys, so this will be the end of this part of the video so next week we are going to be getting the dynasty warriors five and six of Zhao Yun. so we are going to be i don't know what stage i'll play on for five but uh for six i think i'll probably hop back into the altar rebellion maybe i don't know it, the thing with cheng bong is it could be a little annoying because it's like a, a just a full-blown retreat one i kind of just want to face the army because i know some people are like you should do it where he's most famous and to that point i was like yeah you're it's a good idea but some of the cheng bong missions are just not my favorite and I want to I want to be able to enjoy doing this series and everything. So this is why I'll do it. Like maybe for like Hei Fei, if I play as Zheng Liao, that would be a good one for him because that's where he shined the most, I think. But for this one in particular, it's just like I don't really not for Zhao Yun and Cheng Bong because Cheng Bong isn't really my best friend. But all right, guys. So this will be the end of this video. If you all are enjoying the evolution evolution of the Warrior series. Be sure to hit that like button because it lets me know that you guys want to see more of this and see me do it with other officers from either Dynasty or Samurai Warriors. So be sure to hit that thumbs up because it'll it'll let me it'll help me out a lot and let me know that I should keep doing this. Comment down below as well what officer you want to see next. How about that? Uh, I don't think I really had an idea to give you guys uh, for what to mention in the comments below, but now I do. Ben, tell me what officer you'd like to see next. I have a couple in mind already, but I'd like to see what you all think of as well. Whether it could be from Dynasty or Samurai. I'm not doing Warriors of Rochi characters because they stick with the same moveset every single game. None of them ended up changing. So we're going to probably leave it at that. I could do Fushi and Nuwa because they are in Dynasty Warriors 3 and then they got to Warriors of Rochi. So maybe I could do that one. But there'd be no point for me to do it. I mean, I, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'll, see, I'll think about it. But for now, guys, this will be the end of it. Uh, also trying to hit 500 subs before summer. We've broken the 400 barrier. Couldn't be more thankful to you guys for it. Let's see if we can hit that before summer. So with all that being said, guys, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Farewell.